All right, so say you just started playing Greenville like the other day because you got bored of Southwest Florida. I'm not dissing Southwest Florida, but I prefer Greenville. What game pass should you buy first? In today's video, we're going to go over prices and the amount of vehicles that you get. One year ago, I made this type of video on my TikTok, but it was just one minute. So here's a more in-depth video. As you see, there's a few game passes for Greenville. We have the public services pass, which allows you to get DOT, police, fire. Then you got the electric car pass, Tesla's, Maki Mustang that's on the cover, and just all electric cars in Greenville. Next is one of my favorites, Premium Customized Pass. Um, you can get custom plates, custom paint jobs. As you see, it's one of my favorite passes. Let's keep going, there we go. <laughs> There's a lot of variety. So you see, I really like that pass. Next you have the Classic Car Pass. I don't really use this one, but this allows you to get cars under the Classic Pass. It's mainly old muscle cars, like really old muscle cars. Like this might be one of the best right here. Um, you get up to 45 cars if you have this. I don't know what it is for people who don't have it. Sports car pass gives you like supercars and stuff. And there's some sports cars in there. Um, and then luxury vehicle pass. So first we're going to go over public server service pass. Um, basically what you get out of this is if you scroll down, you get Wisconsin State Patrol, DOT. Scroll back up a little bit. You get out Gammy County Sheriff's Office. I'm guessing this one too. So you can of course be a police officer, but yeah, you could be a cop. So if you want to shoot people, that's how you do it. And for my white cops, don't randomly just shoot all the black people because you're racist. Some of y'all are racist. Y'all just hide it very well. Let's yeah. Next we have the electric car pass, so I will show you guys how many cars you get with this pass. Okay, coming into dealership, you can switch it to electric. Here's how many cars you get, just off the cars alone, not including trims. So as you see, most of these cars actually have trims, so that has two trims. Teslas, they always have multiple trims, so keep that in mind. Especially when you get to the newer cars, this is when you start getting a lot of trims. One two three four and yeah it just keeps going especially when you talk model s or a car model by Cade, you really start to get a bunch of trims this one isn't exactly that way but you know you got a bunch of trims with this one so keep that in mind you have multiple trims with these cars it's not just these cars alone as you can see and some cars they have like regular trims but then you have like the electric ones so that's cool also electric cars they're kind of cool but yeah uh you also get the tesla roadster which is the most expensive car in the game if you get the five million dollar one so it's also the fastest car in the game. It goes like 300 something miles per hour. I honestly forgot, but it's really fast. Next, we have the premium customized pass. This is one of my favorite passes for multiple reasons. So you can get custom colors and plates. I will show a example. You can also get custom wheels too, I forgot. So as you can see, this is my Mercedes Benz GLE under the luxury pass. I have a custom plate with my name on it aftermarket wheels and the paint job is stock but this one just has aftermarket wheels and a plate but i will find a car with all three so i can show you guys what this pass can really do okay this is one of my bmws also if you don't like a front plate you can actually remove it with this pass so as you can see custom color custom wheels and a custom plate they have all 50 states along with some Canadian plates. So that's also cool and something to consider when thinking about this pass. But yeah, if you really want to personalize your cars, this is definitely the game pass for you. And go for it. I mean, you should really get this pass. It's really worth it compared to the other ones. So keep that in mind. Next, we have the classic car pass. This one, I don't really care for, but I got it just to have it. 
as you can see most of these cars are under classic most of these we will sort by classic and show you so you get a decent amount of classic cars with this one and there's some really nice classic cars in here such as the skyline r32 this should be getting a remodel soon i don't know what happened to it you get the 454 ss it's slow but you have it you got a mr2 and the gnx trim this is the nx trim but you also get the other versions too so these have trims too you get classic 911s and then there's another classic porsche right here i forgot the name get this cobra thing you get a new mustang that actually just got added in the last update it looks really good in my opinion you get this a dodge cornet it looks like a cornet i'm not sure though it's really nice looking though if you are 12 years old you need this game pass immediately i'm not trying to target 12 year olds but it seems like the younger audiences like their supercars while some like normal cars like the older people meanwhile we have the sports game pass so if we go under sports as you can see this is where all the supercars are unlocked this is the supercar game pass you even get some suvs in here i didn't even know these three suvs were in here four um five <laughs> there's a lot of suvs in here uh yeah even if you want a civic with more power and a wing sports pass so this is the game pass if you like supercars i obviously have it because there's some cars in here that i like for example we have the carrera gt the skyline we also have the mercedes sls the lfa you get the point there's a lot of supercars in here that i actually like so i got the pass pretty self-explanatory um you also get one of the most detailed cars in the game which is the mercedes-benz sl that was made by Cade. He did a great job on that. Also, if you want to, um, you know, <laughs> make me happy, go ahead and buy this Corvette right here and get one of these trims. Just one of these three trims. I made the sounds on this. So, yeah, that's how you can go about that. Do you need all that power? Ignore this 490 horsepower. It has a lot more than that. I don't know how much cars you can have if you don't have the pass, but yeah, I'm gonna check actually. Okay, I don't know how much cars you can have uh, without the pass, but if you do have the pass, you can have up to 45 cars. If you're watching this video and you don't have the pass, let me know. I could really have like 30 cars and I wouldn't even know it, so <laughs> yeah. Lastly, one of my personal favorites, the Luxury Pass. You get the most amount of cars in this pass, considering that we get at least one Luxury car per update. So if you sort by Luxury and the scrolling never stops, I'm literally not stopping. It just doesn't stop, as you can see. All these cars, right? Now, there's a plot twist to this a little bit, okay? Some cars aren't in here, but they have a luxury trim. So, I'm gonna find that Volkswagen that I always use, for example. I think it's around this year. As you can see, there's no Volkswagen Golf right here, right? But if I go down to Wolfsburg filters, it is a 2013 as you can see game pass none but as you go through the trims and get to r as you can see luxury pass and it goes to 2014 so the golf should be right here although it isn't because its other trims aren't luxury if the car is luxury pass only it will not be listed here so that one's really worth it so now let's go over what game pass you should actually get okay if you just want to answer right away just get the premium customized pass or more storage those two but now we're going to break it down public services passes it's only if you want to be a cop so yeah that's for those people if you like electric cars get an electric car now what i would recommend premium customized 
65 robux which is 82 cents and you get to change your car color change the plates and even change the wheels and there's like 200 plus wheels at tires plus so that's also something to consider classic car pass is if you like your older cars and that is 94 cents coming in at 75 robux it's up to you if you want this one i don't even drive classic cars on greenville so i wouldn't recommend more storage pass i would also recommend it's a dollar and 25 cents and it's 100 robux you get up to 45 cars which i think is double compared to non more storage pass people so you should get this one because every update i need more car storage because i just keep running out of space therefore every update there's always more storage added for the more storage pass so yeah 100 robux isn't bad for this it's a dollar and 25 sports car pass i would recommend this one but only if you have the money it's coming in a little high at six dollars but you're unlocking every supercar but the downside is that you got to get the money for every supercar which could be like 200,000 plus if you're talking supercars but there are sports cars that are actually cheaper and there's also performance SUVs that are in the 100,000 range so yeah that's just for fast people and then the one I would recommend to anybody luxury car pass it is three dollars so it is like three dollars cheaper than the sports car pass but you're getting double the cars and you also get a new luxury pass car every update as there's always a new luxury car coming into greenville so keep that in mind so when we add up my favorite game passes we're going to go to my calculator okay so the ones i would recommend is premium customize more vehicle and luxury so for your first game passes i feel like you should get more storage pass this is only a dollar 25 and you get up to 45 cars but what i would recommend is for you to get three of these at a time so more storage premium customize and luxury all at the same time so let's add it up 0.82 plus dollar 25 plus three dollars and twelve cents this equals up to five dollars and nineteen cents now if you did this you would have to buy the five dollar 400 robux and then you would have to buy 80 more robux through your phone for 99 cents and you should have enough for these passes 250 100 I don't know hopefully you have enough we're gonna see how much robux you actually need for these so 250 plus 100 plus 65 okay yes yeah you don't even need 80 more robux but you gotta buy the 80 robux to get enough pretty much so five dollars plus well it's 4.99 plus tax plus 80 uh, frick not 80 <laughs> plus one dollar you know plus tax you should have well over 480 robux and i recommend buying these three but if you can only get one right now get the more storage pass now the reason I didn't say that with confidence is because the luxury pass offers you more, but it really depends on what you want. Do you want more luxury cars? But then you keep hitting that limit of your cars, or do you want to unlock more cars, grind with those cars, build your money up, and then get the luxury pass? You see what I mean? It kind of makes sense now because the luxury cars are more expensive you can grind a bunch of like regular cars and there's plenty of regular cars in greenville don't get me wrong do not get me wrong we are going to go into dealer i'm pretty sure there's a thing no pass yeah no game pass okay there are plenty of cars that don't require game pass people like to say oh 
Griefo cars, they always require Game Pass. Look, I'm still scrolling. You were saying what? Every every Griefo car requires Game Pass? These are just like the front covers of the cars because remember, I said some cars have trims. This is just a convertible. And as you can see, this is the hard top. You got the convertible. Come on now, come on, be serious. Don't get me started on the charger. It You only have one trim, but you get the point. Most of these cars have trims, so people are just complaining for no reason. But yeah, if you enjoyed my take on Greenville Game Passes, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, it's been Fuckstreet, and I am out.